Hi, I'm Amy. I'm in my early 30s and I just thought I would share with you my vein story. I have varicose veins. They started after my daughter was born. She's my second child. I just thought that sharing this might be helpful to you because you might be going through the same thing and you might be discouraged and you might feel like you're the only one hiding your legs. You might be the only mom whose kid is poking your legs saying, mommy, what's that ugly bumpy thing on your leg? Which it's always really loud in like the Walmart bathroom where everybody can hear it too. So um, consequently, I didn't wear a lot of shorts or like when I would go swimming with the kids, I would get board shorts so that my legs wouldn't show. And that's not a problem for me, I can live with that. But the problem that I found was that I was just really tired all the time. I'm just going up the stairs in my home, I would get really tired. And in my 30s, that's not the kind of energy level that I wanted. So even though I had made a lot of lifestyle changes and I walked a mile every day, and I was eating really healthy, this was really a persistent problem with my health. Bad circulation is not fun. So about a year ago, I had been thinking about how insurance might cover uh, a vein procedure for me, that varicose veins run in the family, and it's just gonna get worse if I don't do something about it. So I scheduled an appointment at a vein clinic, and I had a vein ultrasound done. They had these great paper shorts for me to wear. I felt so awesome in them. After that first ultrasound, insurance actually denied me. Uh, the, the doctor said he believed I really needed it, and that it would help me, but insurance said it wasn't medically necessary because it was experimental or something like that. I felt like this was really necessary, it could really help me. So I was very disappointed that they denied this because it is a very expensive procedure. I think it was $4,000 without insurance. So I didn't want to do that to my family, but I really felt like I needed it. So I did a lot of praying about it and I went back for another ultrasound. My integrative physician said, you know, if they denied again, he would try to help them understand that it was medically necessary. But thankfully this time around, they did the venous ultrasound Actually, they spent a little bit more time behind my knee, and I guess that's where they were able to find um, a lot more venous reflux. So um, she said that that was kind of in an unusual position, but that was the information that they needed. Uh, she did the imaging with, where she would draw a line on, on the different veins and show how wide they are, and then show the amount of reflux. It was like putting a blood pressure cuff on you, and then it would poof really tight, and then that would show the amount of reflux. So venous reflux is really just, the valves aren't working properly. Blood isn't going straight, would have like, half of it coming back. So I'm here at the Center for Vein Restoration this morning. In about 15 minutes, it'll be the time for my appointment and I'm a little bit nervous. Even though it's called the Center for Vein Restoration, I saw that pamphlet that they gave me and they're not planning on restoring my veins. They're planning on like zapping them. Or uh, I even saw on the back of the door when I had my ultrasound appointment, it looked like a glue gun. Like they put glue in your veins and I don't know, dissolves in your body? That doesn't sound good to me. So I didn't really look into detail in the pamphlet of what exactly they're gonna do because I'm highly sensing and feeling and just even thinking or looking at painful things. I couldn't handle it and I don't wanna get my anxiety up. So anyways, I'm gonna go in there and they're gonna do their thing and hopefully it will help me with my exhaustion levels. I will let you know. Um, the only thing I won't be able to do today will be like heavy exercising or lifting things, which I'm not, I do have to go grocery shopping because it's been a month of no shopping, which I share about in another video, which I'll link to. Anyways, after the procedure, I'll have to wear these lovely things. And, and I had to wear these um, during my pregnancy too. That is the background on why I'm getting my varicose veins taken care of. I will have to go back in a couple days and so there's going to be about five appointments and I had heard of, I think her name is Jordan, can't remember her name, but I'll link to her video about how she got her varicose veins fixed. That was encouraging to me to say, hey, I'm not the only young person struggling with this. Of course, she had like eight babies um, and I only had two. In any case, I think it's about time for my appointment so I'm going to head in there with my lovely support stockings and hopefully survive this. I'll let you know when I'm done. Time for another fashion show. Okay, is there any other reading material in here because this is not helping me calm down. Great, the nurse said just stand in here for a while. Ugh, that's definitely a really big needle. Hello, where's the nearest exit? <laughs> I wasn't expecting to see blood and I wasn't expecting it to hurt that much. That was intense, <laughs> bubbling out of here. And I gotta come back in two days. They had a puppy pad on a chair and I was thinking, yeah, they have to put one of these here because that information manual is so terrifying. You might just pee your pants. <laughs> and a good thing I took my GABA calm this morning because, I mean, I was I was thinking like, what did I get myself into? I asked the nurse, does anybody ever bolt out of here? And she's like, why are you thinking about it? I had the opportunity. <laughs> so they poked me with the needle a bunch of times after they drew on me. The guy that was prepping the leg was saying, it's not gonna be so bad for me because my, my veins aren't as big as everybody else. Cause generally they see an older population where their legs are completely covered in varicose veins. So they numbed me, you know, they always say it's a, a quick pinch. It ain't no quick pinch. It's like, it's like a bee sting that don't quit. <laughs> 
it. They said, okay, it would be pressure, tingling, and a wet, cold sensation. Okay, I guess it was kind of like that, but it did feel like tugging apart my skin, so it was definitely not comfortable. So they did the cutting and tugging procedure thing. I'll have to look at the pamphlet and see what that is. Then they did the heat thing. So the, they did a combination of, of things. It hurt more at the end. I was mostly numb. I mean, my foot feels numb now. I'm supposed to drive home. <laughs> and here, well, let me show you. I mean, my leg looks huge compared to the other one. The procedure went fine and it was about 10 minutes. It, it did seem a little bit longer than that because it was, like I said, uncomfortable. But then after that, he did an ace bandage instead of the compression stocking. So then I have three days that I have to wear the compression stockings. And today I'm supposed to do a lot of walking so that I don't get blood clots. I don't know if I should go home and change. I've got these tights on. It looks really lumpy and weird, but I think I'm just going to go to the grocery store and get that done. If I go to Aldi, I'm going to have to be careful about what I'm lifting. This is supposed to help the small capillaries have better blood flow, which, hey, that can't hurt, right? Uh, but do you see that pun? Don't suffer in vain. <laughs> I do appreciate a good pun. So we'll see if that helps me too. They said, well, a couple days later and I am back for round two of my vein treatment. And yesterday my leg was really sore and tender and um, I was able to take off the compression wrap and my leg did bleed a little bit, um, even though that they had the tape on my leg. And now I'm a bunch of bruises <laughs> and I don't know if they're gonna work on the same leg, my right leg, or if they're gonna move to the other leg, but that would be nice because that leg's pretty rough. <laughs> so I'm going to go to it. Well, that was definitely easier and quicker. They just stuck a needle in me and then it uh, filled with foam. And that was, that was painful. It was like a stinging, like a bee sting that kept traveling and hurting, burning more. I'm glad it's over with and I can go home. Because the veins were more superficial, they used the Varathena method. They did indeed do the right leg again. It was a lot easier for me to walk out. The Varathena is the foam that they inject with the needle. Like I said, it stings going through. I'm hoping it's gonna keep getting easier. But I'm at the vein clinic again for round three. I think they're just going to do vena seal or something not fun like that. Hopefully it'll be okay. So the past two days, I've experienced some pressure and discomfort in the groin area and so that's not fun so I'm going to talk to them about that and hopefully that will resolve because that was akin to the pressure I felt when I was pregnant um, and had variscosities that that wasn't fun so I don't want this to just like transition to a different location we'll see how today goes I gotta go in well it's always gonna be painful but this time it was pretty quick, probably about the same as last time. And it stung like a lot of little stings, like like the time when I was a kid and I got covered in fire ants, kind of like that. So this time I got a different doctor who deals with the smaller veins on the surface. He gives an injection of dextrose and sodium chloride. Doesn't sound as scary as some chemicals, so I feel a little bit better because I did ask him. Kind of wonder what's getting to my brain and everything. <laughs> And, um, and so he just explained that this was a really safe procedure that was started in 1946 and that also the Varathena has been around since about the same time. Or maybe the Varathena was from the 80s, I can't remember. In any case, it's been around a while. That put me more at ease. It was a whole ton of little pokes. That It took about maybe five minutes for him to poke maybe about 15 times. So I have to come back and do this same thing one more time and get whatever didn't get got today. I'm hoping it's worth it. And I got an answer about the pressure and pain I was experiencing. I had a really nice nurse, and she was saying that it is normal to have that tenderness and that it's not more vein issues. It's your body trying to clean itself out, so it's a bunch of white blood cells and other stuff kind of rushing to the area. So that's why it, it kicked in a couple days later on Sunday and Monday pretty badly. Today it's not as bad, so maybe my body's already worked through that. But that was also a relief. So this time my vein felt kind of bumpy and painful. So he just did some blood draining and then uh, the injections again. So it was painful, but it's done now. 
but I just want people to know what they're getting into because this was kind of unexpected that it would be so painful. I would say that I would recommend for moms that if you're getting this done, if you've got kids at home, definitely have help, um, have your mom or your mother-in-law or a, a house helper friend to come over. I mean, it does wear you out. And if you're extra sensitive like me and it might throw you for a loop, definitely have that set up for yourself. Five years ago, this was the most intense thing I've done lately. So I feel brave. <laughs> And I hope that you will feel brave if this is what you're going to have to go through and that this would just help you know what to expect. I made it through, I'm alive, so don't be afraid. <laughs> Even though I'm still healing, I definitely notice more energy going up the stairs. I'm not getting winded. And maybe I'll do a video in the future if anything else changes to let you know. Uh, I was a little foggy headed after the procedures and I don't know if that's because of just my normal hormone issues and maybe some holiday stress. But in any case, I definitely think it was worth it, even though it was really painful. And I hope my experience helps you feel more informed if you're going to have this procedure too. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe if you haven't already and click the notification bell if you want to know when the next video is out. I'll be talking more about health and hormones and definitely be posting more gluten-free videos for you. All right, hope you have a great day. Bye.